It's Molly Kate here, and this is my very own Draw My Life video. I've never done something like this before, but I'm really excited to share a little bit of my story and obviously my absolutely fantastic drawing skills. Okay, so let's rewind back to 1995. My story begins in Austin, Minnesota, a small town surrounded by farms and cornfields. So far in my family, there was my two parents, my sister, my brother, my other brother, my other brother, and oh yeah, my other brother. <laughs> then I came along. Then a few years later, my little brother was born, taking my place as the baby in the family. Y'all might actually have seen him in my Footprints music video. But anyway, as you can see, I have a huge family, and it's even bigger now than it was because Natalie got married and has four boys, John got married and has three girls, and James got married and has a little girl. Oh, and you cannot forget the cutest Kessner of all, our dog Kirby. So growing up, I was surrounded by family and by music. Both of my parents sang, and all of my siblings were musical in one way or another. As for me, I loved creating things. I would create songs, musicals, dances, and one-woman shows, which I would then perform for a full audience of stuffed animals in my bedroom. I spent a lot of time in my imagination as a kid because I was homeschooled from preschool and kindergarten. Then I went to a very small private school from first to fifth grade. I liked it there, but it was tough because most of the kids who went there lived in a different town, and so I didn't really have many friends who lived near me. So I asked my parents if I could go to a public school in my town for sixth grade, and they said yes. I was excited to make a bunch of new friends, and I did. My best friend to this day, Brianna, was really made at Ellis Middle School. I also got to be in an orchestra and a real choir for the first time, which only grew my love for music even more. By eighth grade, I had a lot of friends and I was so excited for high school. But freshman year was really hard for me. There were some upperclassmen that, for whatever reason, decided to single me out. This was my first experience with online bullying. I didn't understand. What had I done to make them hate me so much? Why were they saying things about me that weren't true, and why did people believe them? I tried to just ignore all of it, but I started to become incredibly insecure. I spent hours every morning in front of the mirror getting ready, but I just picked myself apart. I came home every day after school and would go straight to my room, get in bed and take a nap. I'd get up for dinner and then I'd just go straight back to sleep. The worst thing was, though, I didn't let anybody know. I just let it happen. Well, thankfully, freshman year ended and most of those kids graduated and I realized I never wanted anyone to feel the way that I had felt. I made it my mission to always make everyone I met feel loved and accepted. I also became extremely passionate about music and a big part of that was because of my choir teacher, Mr. Johnson. I always loved to sing and I knew that I had a pretty good voice, but he helped me realize that music is not as much about the talent as it is about the heart. I fell madly in love with singing, but it wasn't until my junior year of high school that I wrote my first song. I was cleaning the bathroom at my dad's electrical shop because, yes, my first job was a janitor. Anyway, I was cleaning and then out of nowhere I felt like I had a story inside of my head that I needed to write down. So I grabbed a piece of paper off the secretary's desk and I began to scribble down words. When I finished my shift, I rushed home and went straight to the piano. I only knew a couple of chords, so I began playing them and singing the story that I had written on top of that. They fit together perfectly. I had written my first song. I called it His Daughter. Flash forward about a year later. It's Easter Sunday, my whole family is over, and I finished my food early, so I slip into the living room. I decide to record my secret song on my cracked iPhone 4. The piano is old and slightly out of tune. My family is chattering in the background, but despite all of that, I decide to put it up online to share it with relatives and friends who hadn't heard it. That decision changed my life. As many of you know, and you can get the fuller story from my Roots videos, but that song went viral. I don't know why or how, but 
All of a sudden, people like George Takai, Ashley Judd, and Jordan Sparks were sharing my song. Before I knew it, I was doing morning talk shows and traveling to meet with different labels and agents. It's like this giant door appeared out of nowhere and the future I had only dreamed of was on the other side of it. All I had to do was step through, and I did. I signed a record deal with Atlantic and I began making trips to LA to write and record. During one of these trips, I decided I wanted to check out a church I'd heard about. A friend of mine in Minnesota told me that they had a friend in LA who went there and could pick me up. So I texted him, but he happened to be flying to Minnesota that night. What are the odds, right? So he said he'd have his friend pick me up. So despite the fact that I was a little bit skeptical about having a complete stranger pick me up, I had obviously never used Uber yet, uh, I said I would do it, and I'm glad that I did, because that was how I met my husband. He had the bluest eyes and the best smile, and talking with him felt like reconnecting with an old friend. It was effortless. I had already felt like I needed to move to LA, but once I met Brock, I knew that I could do it. He encouraged me so much and even connected me with the girl that I would move in with. So. Two months later, I packed everything I owned into my little Honda Civic and I waved goodbye to Minnesota. And I never looked back. Me and Bree road tripped all the way out to LA together and we arrived on February 14th, 2016. That's right, Valentine's Day. We were both single, but we ended up hanging out with Brock that night. Little did he know, I counted that as our first date. Bree went back home and I threw myself into my music. But when I wasn't in the studio writing and recording songs, I was hanging out with Brock, writing songs with him, or laughing till I cried. It didn't take long to know he was the love of my life, and later that year, we were engaged and married. But that is a whole story of its own, so I think I'll save that for a different video. But since then, I've had so many incredible opportunities and adventures in my music journey. I got the chance to write two songs on Kelly Clarkson's album, Meaning of Life, which was maybe the most surreal moment of my career to date, because I've been a fan of her since I was just a kid. Then I put out six singles in the last year, which honestly was pretty scary because I didn't know how people would respond to my new music, but the response was incredible. My new song, Compromise, even got picked up for a Jeep campaign. And then this fall, I got to tour all across the country playing all my new songs and even some unreleased music. I got to meet so many beautiful people, new fans and old ones. And I've learned that this path I've chosen is really less of a path and more of a roller coaster. It's exciting, terrifying, it has ups and downs, and it's extremely fast paced, but I can't imagine doing anything else. I don't know what my future holds, but I think I'm headed in the right direction. And I'm so thankful for the people who've helped me get where I am. If you've watched my videos or shared them or just followed along on my journey, thank you because you play a huge role in my story. And if you're new, well, welcome to the family. I hope you know me a little bit better now and I hope that I get the chance to know you one day. This is my life so far, but I know the best is yet to come. I can't wait to share it with you. Until next time, this is Molly Kate signing off. Happy holidays and God bless. We finished! I need to go to the chiropractor. Okay.